Hello study partners so today we'll be discussing few basics from the chapter screening so i really want you to read up the definitions of sensitivity specificity positive predictive value negative predictive value likelihood ratio and bayes theorem this more or less covers around 70 to 80% of the entire chapter if you know the definitions well uh, i think it will he really help you i'm not going to cover the base uh, definitions it's i don't think it needs much explanation i'll be talking more of the concepts so first let's start with sensitivity so what is sensitivity let's say 100 people had the disease and this test detected 80 persons correctly and 20 persons it did not detect so the sensitivity of the test is 80 divided by 100 correct so 80 people it detected out of 100 so the sensitivity becomes 80 percent so this you can also write it as this sensitive this 80 persons were true positive 20 persons were false negative correct so sensitivity you can write it as true positive divided by true positive plus false negative correct that's nothing but 80 by 80 plus 20 okay so I really want you to remember it in this format only please avoid your a by a plus b c by c plus d z by z plus x it's really going to confuse you so however you construct the tabular column if you remember true positive by true positive plus false negative you're never going to go wrong in any of the questions okay so uh, there is one controversial mcq here so i'll cover that here as well so sensitivity and specificity are two fixed parameters for any test it's suddenly not going to change when prevalence increase or not going to come down when disease po dis diseased population increases or decreases so it's kind of fixed so if your sphygmomanometer can detect only 80 percent correctly wherever you take it whether that region has less hypertensives or more hypertensives the sensitivity is going to remain the same and the specificity is going to remain the same so you agree with so now there is one mcq there which talks what happens when you increase the sensitivity of the test who increased the sensitivity of the test the manufacturer so somebody who was doing some spigmo manometer you went and told him that are baba this is detecting only 80 percent 20 percent of them i am missing so do something so that guy what he did he did something else so then what happened it changed the sensitivity of the test so only the manufacturer can change the sensitivity and specificity of the test now what is the first thing that happens obviously most of you will tend to think that there will be very high false positive as the sensitivity increases there will be very high false positive this is where the catch of the question lies what generally happens is in our clinical scenario do we want false positive no we already have too many population to screen so we don't want false positive what do we want why do we want to increase the sensitivity of the test mainly we are doing this to reduce false negative yes you are right if sensitivity increases there will be some point of time it will cross this area and it will go to false positive so if there are 100 patients and your test was detecting only 80% you complain to the manufacturer and now he is going to increase the sensitivity such that this test now detects around 95 patients correctly out of 100 so the sensitivity increased now so what happened this false negative came down to 5% so the first thing that happens when you increase the sensitivity of the test is a reduction in positive and you don't want to increase the sensitivity beyond 100 right you don't want false positive so in clinical scenario we don't want any false positive so we try our best not to increase the sensitivity beyond 100 percent okay let's say it's not linear it's not relevant clinically so the Please be very careful regarding this MCQ. Most of us tend to get this wrong. I think we've covered specific sensitivity. Now we'll go to specificity. So specificity is again same rule. No A by A plus B or whatever. Specificity is what? Ability to detect how many people are not diseased. That is true negatives. So if there are 100 persons who are not diseased 
and your test detects 80 as there is no disease and 20 persons it told the disease is present so this is false positive correct yeah this is non diseased okay be, be very careful for specificity so specificity is it detected that 80 by 100 are not diseased so this is 80 percent specific so the formula is true negative by true negative plus false positive simple how many were truly negative 80 that's not seen how many were truly negative 80 so out of the total what is total so 20 detected it as false positive so again if you try to increase the specificity it will again try to first reduce the false positive so this concept i hope you are very clear so next we will talk about positive predictive value and negative predictive value okay positive predictive value is to tell how many are positive really positive among the total positives so positive predictive value negative predictive value please remember that it goes by the name positive predictive value has only positives in the formula true positive by true positive plus false positive negative predictive value has only negatives so true negative by true negative plus false negative okay so this is a prediction you are trying to do you are trying to see if the test is okay this is something you are trying to apply based on the statistics so this changes with prevalence so this you should remember obviously it also re depends on the test you have applied right it also depends on which company cuspid big manometer you bought if it is very specific very sensitive then that will also affect the test if it is very very sensitive you will catch more patients if it is not sensitive you will you will get more false negatives so positive predictive value and negative predictive value depend on sensitivity specificity please remember this and prevalence this means if a person is having a test report which is showing positive what is the probability of him actually having the disease now uh, this is positive predictive value negative predictive value if a person has having a test report showing negative what is the probability of him not actually having the disease so if there is more disease in the population obviously the probability of him having the disease goes up if there is not much prevalence obviously the probability of him having the disease will come down so i hope this explains how prevalence matters for positive predictive value and negative predictive value and not for sensitivity and specificity i think i'm not going to unnecessarily lengthen this video i'll stop this right now i'll come up with a few more videos regarding this as problem solving and how to construct the table so until then keep studying and this is your study partner signing off